You left that well, door I open. I it up, it was over here. We're here with another rendition of... Scared again. Scared again. <laughs> Fears to Fathom the Carson House. Fears to Fathom. Episode 3. <clears throat> the Carson House. September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Well... This is a laundromat. <laughs> I thought Dad was driving me to watch somebody's house while I'm in a laundromat. These graphics are a lot better than the previous two. Oh, years. that's right. Yeah, because I remember them talking about that. Like, this was like a huge step up for them in terms of quality. Escape doesn't open a phone. What the fuck? Whoa. This doesn't look normal. Is that a nightmare? Attention. You are having a nightmare. You are dreaming that... Sprint. You are dreaming that you are having to do all of the laundry for all of the football team. I hate doing laundry. Oh. Hello. Bleach? What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Where's the bleach? I need bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah! Nap time's over. We're here. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. I Noah, had a dream the other day. My alarm started going off, and it's like it came into my dream in the form of my phone going off in my dream, and I was trying to dismiss it in my dream, and I was like, it won't fucking turn off. <laughs> like, I can't get it to turn off. I don't know what's happening until the point that I actually threw it against the wall. And I was like... Why won't it stop? And then I finally woke up and was like, oh, shit. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I got this. Roy Calden said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. Heard you the first time, Dad. Okay. Now get your ass to work. Hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. <laughs> uh, if you well, if you don't mind yourself, you'll be in it for the smacks too. All of a sudden, the graphics look closer to the first one again. It's a fake rock in the backyard. Yeah. Kitty. Wait, go back down. What does that What does that cat look like? It looks like. Phoenix. Holy shit! Is that porch cat? It that, looks like. It looks Phoenix. exactly like the porch cat that. <laughs> The cat that keeps showing up on our porch. <laughs> yes! That is so creepy. That is... Whoa, dude. This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you are either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish I could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks of me, Raffle. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend, wink, wink. 100% wink, wink. Yeah, yeah. Our, our little baby. It's a little baby. Honestly, jealous of Ava, Ava Raffle. I know, right? Just had the weirdest dream ever. Yeah, I want people to see just how similar that cat looked it's to what's in the game. Cat. It is. It's almost one to one. <laughs> it's terrifying. The fake rock in the backyard. 
Wait, two dogs. There's a doggy. Hey. Oh. Hey, Puffer. Hey, Puffer. Oh. He's a good baby. Aw. Just a fake rocket, Puffer. It's too dark out here. I can't see anything. And it's dark as fuck looking from where I'm sitting. Yeah, it actually is a lot easier to see without my glasses <laughs> than it is with them. Oh, there's oh, another, another doggy. Aww, Aww he's baby. cute. Is it beside the dog Wait, house? The dog house. Right there. there. Hey. Okay. I've had to pee. <laughs> too much liquid and I have to piss. Where's the fucking bathroom in here? <laughs> ah. Oh. oh, wow. Green screen. Is this dude a YouTuber? I cannot pee on that. Well, I could, but it wouldn't be very polite. Wouldn't be very sanitary, would it? Bathroom! Bathroom! Realize the house is way bigger than ours. Yeah, no shit. Bathroom! There it is. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? Don't miss. That was like for real. Don't miss. It already looks like you're peeing on the seat a little bit. Yeah. Uh, aiming right at the middle of the toilet bowl. I can't read anymore. <laughs> Thanks for so taking up the job, kid. kid. I really appreciate, appreciate you, you doing, doing this. Right. I'm sorry I had to leave you leave early. Mr. Carson? My, My bad, bad, it's Roy. Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really best to me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure. Really. Ha ha. He's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house uh, now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Well, that must be the dog's name. Yeah, Zeke. Read the chat. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. Could you get him from his dog, or get him his dog food from the basement? Right on it. Hey, I have to go in the basement. I was too lazy to model the garage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the developer's name. For real? Rail. <laughs> Damn it, Rail. You see, I love little things like that. Haha. Oh my god. Are you joking? The basement, basement was a little, little too dark. dark. A little too dark. More like a lot of too dark, man. Damn. What the hell? Y'all let me know if it's anything that looks like dog food. So I can't see shit. I almost forgot to apologize. There's lights in, you grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. So you gotta go back upstairs and grab the flashlight. This house is so big. Reminds me of the mansion. It's bigger than the mansion. Carson's bedroom. Oh. Laundry room. Bleach. No, <laughs> you drink the bleach. Shut up. Wait, is the storage room on the first floor or on this floor? Why is there a door? Oh, it's because he's got the thing stored there for now. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Go. You have to feed the dog, dude. You have to get up. You have to feed the dog. This could very well be the storage room, but I wouldn't know it because it's so fucking dark in here. Is there a light? Hmm. They wouldn't just leave you in the dark. Many unbearable hours later. All of the intensity to this is gone, so I just can't find the fucking flashlight. Uh, to the left, little room right here, and on the shelf, to your right, uh, second shelf, right there. Right, 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 look down. Bingo. Yeah, I still couldn't see that. Fucking dumb. Why would they put it somewhere so fucking dark? I don't know. Well, well, you were too lazy to model the garage, but being too lazy to put a light switch in a dark-ass fucking room is kind of worse. Eh, nobody's perfect. I don't like this. You know, this flashlight doesn't do jack shit in the dark either. Yeah, it does. I can see, you can see better. <laughs> Marginally. It's like a suggestion of light rather than an actual light. There we go. Yeah, food for the pupper. Food for the pupper dog. Wanna eat, buddy? Good pup. Uh, good pup. I have a feeling him barking will be the sign of some bad stuff going down here soon. Probably. Uh, hey kid, heard from Walter your computer was, huh? I have a favorite ass. My computer's been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, oh yeah, I got a whole security system set up here. I have a lot of expensive equipment laying around, don't want anything happening. Yeah, I understand. I'll take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. Oh, server equipment. Okay. That's what that was. Ailey Carson 5387. Hey. 
So it's like Windows Vista or something. Well, XP. Guide to Being a Better Person. Talk and Talk. Directed by Alec Carson. This video will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step 1. Don't be rude. <laughs> Don't be rude. Being rude will discourage people from... Okay. Uh, sorry, it appears something is wrong with the broadcast. Yeah, no shit. Pupper. Oh, no. Step two. Remain calm in any conversation. Nah. <laughs> What the hell? This guy, this guy is like... Interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. These nuts. <laughs> I saw that asshole. Free trial lim for limited. Get full protection. Your computer is now dead. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, that's a fake antivirus ad if you ever see one that looks like that in real life. Yeah, it's not real. Don't believe those. Perform full scan. Ah, Trojan horse, of course. Remove. Done. Thank you. Hey, nice. okay. Playing Five Nights at Freddy's now. It's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Yeah, that's my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. I guess at some point we'll probably end up being up here, like, playing Five Nights at Freddy's with some home invader guy. Probably. Ooh, what was it about? Weird. Reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on. Now, you gotta watch it with me. Wait, this place got a TV? Haha, uh -huh. yeah, hold on. Hello. Welcome. Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking. <laughs> what? I love me cat food. It's on, are you watching? Cat food? My favorite dish. E. What the hell? <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> I should not have taken that, uh, LSD before coming to watch this house, apparently. Jeff, <laughs> really be Jeffrey sometime. What? So I think you should get uh, so here's some cash in my nightstand, groceries, ranch. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. We'll be right back. Yay, grocery shopping. Oh god, I hate these ads. Yeah, totally. You're missing the best part. Take Alex's bike outside the garage. Bicycle. Bicycle. How am I supposed to know how to get to the store in this town? 9.22 p.m. There it is. Oh, you almost got hit by a car. <laughs> well done, Nick. Well done. I did that on purpose. 
you wanted to get hit by the car because you you, <laughs> you don't want to be watching this guy's house anymore. Plus, I could have sued him for a bunch of money. Please tell me I don't have to. I have to get all of the stuff on this stupid list. Ranch. Oh man, Strawberry why am I jam. having to do real grocery shopping in a video game? <laughs> <laughs> I'd been putting off going grocery shopping in yeah. real life. And speak of the devil. What are you guys doing here? Bro, your girl was just here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He hopped to that other chick so quick it didn't even realize. Don't listen to him. But dude, she's bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. MILF energy, bro. <laughs> Ew. I think she's more like a goth. Goth MILF energy. Are you guys done? Anyway, dude, what are you up to tonight? I'll sit here for this guy, Carson, yeah. tonight. You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. I heard the kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Yeah, you guys have fun. All right, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Andy. Bye, Andy. Ah, mustard, up top. Should I build this for you? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Canucks. Bicycle, bicycle. I got a long to ride it where I love. <laughs> Fuck okay. you, FedEx is better. 9.46 p.m. I had to pee again and I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. Like, yeah, you were right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, dreams no, of me. <laughs> Oh my god, that makes me very uncomfortable. Mr. Carson wasn't going to like that. And you probably missed out on an achievement for, for straight aim or something like that. Did Instead he actually that, say Mr. Carson oh wasn't going to like it? Fuck yes. It worth it. Oh. Yeah. Because again, oh god. <laughs> oh, that's you, fucking hilarious. You are a child. <laughs> Fucking helicopter at one pin. God. Whoa, dude. Dude, you said you're a Carson's right. You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. I'm a Carson co founder of BM Media claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex wife. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson. COO and co-founder of BN Media after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson, has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. It's got a picture of his Sources house. say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her so you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. Did someone's you hear at the, that? <laughs> someone's at the front door in the game. Asher, lay down. He Some does it when I'm watching a movie too. Boom boom. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't open it. Who, Who is, is it? it? You're every for one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. Didn't I order any pizza. One medium sauce pepperoni pizza, sir. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson. No. Please, uh, it it looks like a pizza there. guy. I. It I, looks like a pizza guy, but... Go mm -hmm. ahead. I, I'd say open it, dude. Ah, eh, whatever. Probably well, a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. 
The guy's giving off like Jared Fogel. Like that that smile that he had was like very Jared Fogel. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I just think you need to put up the groceries. Like he wants to eat his pizza. <laughs> That's what creepy. What the hell is that? Spooks. Oh, Go for okay. some pizzas. Should rub any minute now. Enjoy. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. <coughs> thanks, Roy. Sketchy. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that is. That is. That is super creepy. Yeah, you ate half of it. Now I now like hope everything's okay. So I already got caught up with work. Good night, you sweet dreams. Yeah, you're just gonna Hoover that whole pizza, aren't you? That's how I roll. I don't think I'm gonna be putting the groceries up. There's somebody at the door again. Oh, is that? Who is it? I won't ask again. I didn't know what to make of it. <clears throat> hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? That's unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was the wrong number. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Engrossment. One thirty-six a.m. Uh-oh. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Oh, no. Because of course it did. The dog's barking, dude. Well, they had power back up for a security system. Look out back. The dog's not barking anymore. Where's the dog? Oh, nope. shit. There's someone there. Saw that. Dog's barking again. I don't like this. You got the flashlight, right? Nope. Apparently it got left in the front yard whenever I left on the bike. Oh no. Damn it. It's nothing to be scared of because you can't see nothing scary. <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark. You left when that I door open. It, up, it was over here. Oh, God Jesus Christ! God fucking mighty! It's <laughs> 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 <He's> not funny! <laughs> so what's the crazy ex-girlfriend? It is a crazy ex! <laughs> Holy shit! There she is. That's the front- we should have noticed that. That's the front porch. She went that direction. Yeah, I know. Damn. I just needed the flashlight, and that's where I figured it'd be laying at. Why are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're, You're being mean, very immature right, right now. now. Fine, if you were gonna be like that, I don't need you anyway. It's, hot. it's so much hotter anyways. Who are you? That moment I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. I just do guys like him very well. And besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house sitting alone. No, they probably blabbed. Mm -hmm. Since she's out front, instead, go out back. Find the dog, because the dog's barking. This is a bad That's, idea. That's, you're going back towards the front. So that's where it sounds like the dog's at. Nope. Oh, wait. Right there, the red. Turn the power back on. Oh. I don't like this. Had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off now. God. You, you said, said we'd, we'd stay, stay friends. friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Whoa. What, what the, the hell? hell? Are they in the house now? Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
They got you. Somebody. You got your face covered. There's the dog. Is it the same doll? Yes. Now the power's back on, I think where she's inside now. Maybe we can get the flashlight. It did appear to save the location of the bicycle, so maybe it saved the location of the flashlight. There wow. it is. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Go upstairs. Go upstairs to the computer room. Yeah, the security thing is going off. Oh, fucking hell. Had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Yeah, you can see that things are knocked over in there. Engrossment. Will you hear that? I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. I don't like this. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Engrossment. Engrossment. What the hell? That sounded like somebody taking a knife out. I heard something downstairs. Check the monitor. Wait, that oven's on. That door's open. Uh -uh. You have to go turn the oven off now. I had to go down and check. Damn it. And creepy music. Of course. Be brave, Nate. Be brave. You're a big boy. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Wonder how many knives were in that knife block when you started. So it definitely looks like there's one missing. What knife block? Right there. Oh my god. On the island. Yeah. There's that one door missing from the top of it. I had to, to confront, confront him. him. Fuck that. I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Text Andy. Escape. Can you send me Turner's contact? No, ask, ask him, him to, to quit messing. messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude, Dude. he's at my place right now. Shit. I attributed all of that to lack of my sleep. We were going to go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. But at the time, I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the idea never even entered my head. Oh, dude. Wait, did you check out the article? Fucking hell. God damn it. Somebody's walking around. Nope. Nope. It's going to come in. She's at the door. <sighs> oh, my. She turned on the TV. Oh. Yep, there she is with the knife. God, oh, my. Felt my heart Here skip she's a beat. coming. She's coming. Mm. Okay. You might want to run across to the laundry room real fucking fast. No. No, she's up there. Fucking hell. Shh, 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 shh. Microphone. God damn it! Why is it so loud? Well, that's what we heard. Mm -hmm. Damn. Baby, you looking all kinds of fucked up. Uh -huh. I think... Sorry. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. What do you want? 
He's not nice to you. He was treating me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know you left me for her. So at least she's not a junkie like you. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. You know, I could turn you into the police for this. Do it, and I will fucking kill both of you. run for it. <laughs> you knew she could see you on the camera. I left the house and ran down, down the block. block. My dad called the cops. <sighs> Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where, where she, she lived. lived. You don't know who I am, but I know where you live. Karen was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. Hard drugs! I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough, and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. Supremely pissed. Someone's like, come into a house you're watching during the night and pull a knife and try to stab me pissed. She was trying to convince <coughs> one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. Bitch went to jail! <laughs> the thing that messed with you the most was the fact that that nothing was stolen from the house. Really? That messed with you? Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Survivor. Yay! This was Fierce to Fathom, the Carson house. What would you, what would you rate this, Kate? Pretty scary? Uh, scary because it's like real life situation type thing. I hope you guys don't have a crazy ex-girlfriend that's going to come no, into this house. No, I, I don't. Because to be honest, if they try shit, <laughs> they're going to get hit. Come. I used to, and you met her recently, but thankfully she's not really crazy anymore. <laughs> True. <laughs> Thank you all very much for tuning in. We appreciate it more than you know. Signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>